Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pete, and I have your word for the day. If you grew up going to Sunday school, you might remember that old song, Be Careful Little Eyes. The song encourages us to be careful with what we see, what we do, and where we go, because the Father up above is looking down in love. So be careful, little eyes, what you see. Today's passage in Proverbs is about the same thing as that old Sunday school song. And it comes from Proverbs chapter 5, verse 20 to 23. Let me read it for us. Why should you be intoxicated, my son, with a forbidden woman and embrace the bosom of an adulteress? For a man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord, and he ponders all his paths. The iniquities of the wicked ensnare him, and he is held fast in the cords of his sin. He dies for lack of discipline, and because of his great folly, he is led astray. Earlier in Proverbs chapter 5, we've been encouraged to live a life that is sexually pure and faithful to our spouse. And now we are told one of the reasons why God commands that. He commands it because God sees us. All of our ways are before God's eyes. He sees when we follow the path of wisdom, and he sees when we follow the path of foolishness. The Bible gives us regular reminders that God is watching us. He sees us at all points of our life. He is omniscient. That's the fancy theological word for all-knowing. His knowledge is so great that it goes beyond what we do, but it definitely includes everything that we do. He knows us, how we live, how we think, and each choice that we make. How does that make you evaluate your actions? Does knowing that God is watching you cause you to want to stop doing some things? He's examining the path of your life. Is it time to change directions? This section of Proverbs also reminds us that our foolish, sinful choices can become a trap. It says that the iniquities of the wicked ensnare him, and he is fell, held fast in the cords of his sin. This reminds me of Samson. You might know the story. Samson was a leader in ancient Israel. God gave him superhuman strength but he also had a weakness for beautiful women. He was often led astray by their temptation, and eventually he married Delilah, the woman who would prove to be his undoing. In collusion with Samson's enemies, she eventually found out the secret to Samson's strength. It was his long hair. She cut Samson's hair while he slept, and Samson's enemies bound him with cords. He was blinded and enslaved. Samson was not only held fast in the cords of his sin, he was also literally held fast by the ropes of his enemies. He eventually died in captivity. As the proverb we just read said, he dies for lack of discipline. All this happened because he foolishly said yes to sexual desires. You can read the full story for yourself in Judges 13 through 16. These verses in Proverbs encourage us to stick to the path of wisdom. God sees when we go astray. God promises destruction for those who stay on the path of foolishness. God doesn't watch us hoping to catch us doing something bad. No, God is watching us hoping to help us do something good. I hope you have a great day choosing wisdom as you remember the Father up above is looking down in love. Have a blessed day, Calvary.